Thank you, uh, Rabavi, for the uh, the privilege and the uh, the families that uh, that are here. It really is the uh, my avodas hakodesh uh, to be uh, a player in uh, many people's uh, journey, trying to uh, make sure that they get their their kids uh, healthy, they get their kids uh, out of their uh, hopefully out of their uh, dysfunctional behavior, and uh, doing so with the uh, with the family intact, and not just the family intact. But Mir uh, Hashem, with the family much stronger than it was uh, beforehand. Uh, I just wanted to share two, I think, uh, quick, hopefully quick thoughts as far as uh, you know what's no gaya for uh, what's happening now, and that is in this uh, past week's parsha, where Aaron Cohen dies, parsha Chukas. So uh, we find an interesting thing, an interesting uh, thought occurred to me, and that is that we know that Moshe Rabbeinu is the one who's referred to as Rabbeinu. He's the one who's the teacher of Klal Yisrael. And Aaron Akohen is the one who's known for trying to make Shalom, the Oiv Shalom, the Rodev Shalom. Two different personalities and two different roles which they played. Obviously, both are essential and both are very needy. But if you were to think about it, before you look at the mission in Perkei Elvis, you would say, who is going to be the one who is going to be Makariv people to Torah? So many times we think that it's going to be the one who's going to say the most powerful shear. It's going to be the most lumdish this year, or the person is going to tell the best mashalim, or it's a person who's going to somehow teach Torah, like a Moshe Rabbeinu, the one who literally brought Torah from Shamaim down to Aretz. This is somebody who uh, would be the one who is going to be able to bring people closer to Torah, because he's the source of Torah here in this world in Olam Hazeh. And yet, when you look at the Mishnah in Perkei Avos, it says very clearly, Oy Vesabresa Aaron HaKoyin, that you should, everybody should be mitamid of Shal Aaron, why should we be a Talmud of Shalaron? What are those characteristics? So at the end, it says, Oy v'sabrio su makarvan Torah. So makarvan the Torah, ultimately, that's the goal. The goal is to bring people closer to the Torah. They should have dveikos with Torah, dveikos with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, dveikos with Klai Yisrael. That's the ultimate goal. That's the final goal. But why is it that the prerequisite for that, the way that Aaron Akoin went ahead and accomplished that, was Oy v'sabrios? Seemingly, Moshe Rabbeinu, who is the one who was Makabal Torah, he is going to be the one who's Makarvan the Torah, he's the one who taught Torah, he's the one who's bringing everybody closer. And the answer, obviously, is, is that the way that we communicate and the way that we connect and the way that we're going to be able to bring our children and our sibling back closer, Mir Hashem, with the Tziat HaDishmaya, is Oy that if you love somebody and a person feels